you got the bug. And he's gone to here. That was amazingly fast. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning, and I've come down to the little harbour at uh, Livadia um, on Lake Tirkini uh, to set up the hide on the um, water's edge to see what I might be lucky enough to to see this morning. And I'm sure, as you saw on the drive up. The mosquito situation is uh, quite severe, so I'm keeping the red light on at the minute because they, they are not attracted to that. And as you can see in here, from compared to when I drove up, it's um, relatively quiet. But you can you can hear the hum. If I'm, I'll be silent for a second, and you'll hear the hum. At least I'm hoping the microphone is picking that up. Oh no, the battery is running out. I don't believe it. Right, back in a minute. Check, got to change the battery on this camera. So I'm back with you again. And change the battery. And as I was saying, the bug situation here down by the lake at this time of the morning is crazy. There's a few in here, which you probably can't pick up on this camera in this light. So, I'm going to douse myself in mosquito repellent, hoping that this will do the trick. Now I'm trying to protect my neck as well, so I don't get down on my neck. So yeah, I've set myself up down here in the hide at the harbour in uh, Livadia. Um, I don't know what to expect really, but I'm hoping for some uh, nice wading birds and, with any luck, some glossy ibis. The sun is on its way. Still probably another 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, before we get sunrise so um, yeah it's just a question of hanging on in here for a little while um, hoping I don't get driven too crazy by the bugs uh, and hopefully uh, we'll get uh, some decent light and some lovely birds so I'll catch up with you nearer the dawn see you in a bit rivers that come into the uh, lake uh, comes out on this little delta here at Luabia Harbour and at its deepest point of the channel here all the little egrets have gathered as well as seagulls there's a few grey herons um, lots of gulls and they're just I think something just lifted them off the, off the ground, scared them, so they're all circling. 
it's quite stunning to see. Hopefully they'll settle down again in a second. And uh, we'll get some videos and photos as well. No glossy ibis just yet. So we've just had a, a third fisherman come along. And then I think we lifted off again. So much better location in the winter when there's um, no fishermen coming this early in the morning, I guess. Uh, so I think I'll give it a little bit. But, uh, longer just to see if some birds do come back um, because it is a really good feeding ground here so I'm sure they'll be attracted back once the fishermen have gone um, so it's just a question of being a little bit patient I guess thankfully it's much cooler today we had a massive thunderstorm in the evening so it's cooled down quite a bit I mean I say it's cooled down it's still 30 degrees much better than the 40 it got to yesterday. So I'll give it a little bit longer and hopefully a few birds will come back and we'll see. Otherwise I'll pack up and go get some breakfast I think and see what the uh, rest of the day holds. Lots of young squawkos this year. still quite far away so I'm only doing some video. something at least anyway. And in this early morning light, their um, plumage looks so iridescent. You can see why they get the name Glossy. They're gorgeous birds. further away now unfortunately. I guess because the fishermen have arrived they're sort of drifting away. So hello again. Um, I've had my breakfast. It's now about just gone 10 and the sun is really well and truly up and burning hot um, which makes photography quite difficult in these um, very very contrasty uh, light conditions in the middle of the day. So what I thought I might do is a little bit of macro. The embankment here up by the uh, lake is covered with wildflowers. Um, so I thought 
it might be nice to have a, a go at something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I'll stick the macro lens on the camera and um, give that a go. The, the good thing about it is that um, because the light is so strong, um, I'll probably be able to get away with uh, a, a, a small aperture and a decent um, uh, shutter speed. Uh, the downside being that all the um, little butterflies and damselflies and all the insects will have been fully warmed up and be very very active now so they're not going to be sitting that still for me to take their picture. Um, but we'll give it a go and um, see if we can come away with anything. So yeah, I'll see you out there in a second. photograph them in the air because they were hovering actually quite steadily and I followed them over to this bush only to discover one of the biggest spiders I have ever seen very scary looking I think without being sure it is a wasp spider an absolute monster. I'll try and get a few shots of it with the macro without disturbing him or trying to make him angry at me. He's tucked away right in there. amazingly fast. A cricket got caught in his web. Just in that second, wrapped it and went back to the middle of his web to the other side and he's back on this side again. Absolutely incredible. Okay, I found another wasp spider and this one is in a much better position. It's a bit deeper into the brambles so I'm going to try not to step on anything that might hurt me and see if I can get a better shot and he's bang in the sunshine as well so Let's give this a go. Unbelievable. And whilst I was there it caught a caught a bug. I think though I started out a bit out of focus. I managed to capture it wrapping the bug, which is awesome. 
I'm not sure if it didn't drop it afterwards. What incredible spiders. So I spent a long time doing this. Just just spent on this one spider, on these two spiders here, I should say. Because they are just so amazing. I might what I'm gonna do is leave this camera on the on the web for a while and see if anything falls into it and see if I can get anything on this camera as well. Absolutely dripping after that. Uh, after that macro session in the in the uh, heat of the day, I had intended to um, talk a little bit more about macro techniques, but with the heat, it was just I didn't have the energy for it. So I have to apologise for that, and I'll make up for it. Uh, and occasion probably when I'm back in the UK and it's a little bit cooler I'll do a, a macro session and talk through my uh, my thoughts and my techniques for getting macro images uh, but anyway so I'll show you a few of the images and some of the video that I got just now and hopefully you like those so uh, uh, not the end of the day just yet so I'm gonna go around to the other side of the lake I think uh, it's a little bit breezier today, so we won't have those still shots, but it should make life a little bit more bearable in the heat. And um, yeah, I'll go around to the other side and see what images we can get, what uh, birds we might find. So um, yeah, I'll catch up with you on the other side of the lake. See you there. that yesterday afternoon. Uh, this time I've arrived quite a bit earlier, so two o'clock just now, um, whilst it's still quiet on the pond here, um, in the hope that um, I won't, I wouldn't scare anything off by my arrival, and with any luck some things will come uh, for a feed this afternoon. There's a couple of squacos out there just like um, yesterday. Uh, Grey heron further out there and a few a few more hens but um, other than that it's uh, all quiet. So I'm just gonna camp out here for a little bit and uh, wait for the afternoon light and uh, hopefully some interesting birds will come along. There's dozens of um, scarlet darters and dragonflies. They're absolutely stunning. It's amazing. It's a big dog. 
I think I'm going to call it a day there, uh, as far as this video is concerned. Um, and um, if I spot anything on my drive back home, uh, back to the hotel, um, I'll show that to you as well. But if not, then I shall catch up with you in the next video. So that'll be tomorrow for me and next week for you. So. Um, Thanks again for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.